So that's my ugly face. This is his ugly face. Hey guys. Out in the desert, this is a Nut and Fancy project coming to the end of a long shooting day. Gorgeous day, by the way. This is a Nut and Fancy pickup truck. It is a Nissan Titan, codenamed Slam, and it is full of gear. Actually, a pretty light load. Yeah, today. that is a very light load. Oftentimes, the back of this truck, when we have a full day, is like stacked up to here. Tons. So, in the back, you see we got one barricade. I got my various, uh, in here I got knee pads and shooting rests and other crap. Ammunition in that one, some food and drinks, blah, 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 lots of steel. The crux of this video though is this compartment here and how I used to carry the guns. A lot of times I would carry guns in a single rifle case or a single assault case and that takes up more room and it's really not efficient. So these days I'm pretty much running doubles. That is double rifle cases all the time. Whether I'm running on the KTM 1190 or out on SLAM, it's going to be a double case. This one's I bought when I was a super poor college student. I've had it ever since. It's a superb quality Eagle. This is, these are two TAC Force double cases. That company is gone out of business. So the other day, I, I wanted a longer one like this where I could really carry some suppressor equipped rifles, tactical carbines, whatnot. And so I went on the internet, searched around, like, there's gotta be something for, that's cost effective that maybe the viewers will like and that I myself will like because I'm all about value as well and this is what I come up with. What? Check it. This is called the Explorer 3 gun case, double. Link at the bottom. This, by the way, is an awesome case for the money. I don't think it's the quality level of perhaps uh, some US made tactical right. nylon. Exactly. Black Hawk Eagle, tag, whatever you want. But for most uh, of us, and I'll include ourselves in that, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, it does the job. If you're going to hike, you know, oh, by the way, it does have backpack straps on it. Check oh, this. Yeah. So if you're going to take this and hike up there and you're going to live in these hills for a month, uh, maybe some weaknesses would be revealed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe a few stitches would blow out and you'd be cursing it. I, oh, yeah. I don't know. It could happen. I mean, if you look at the stitching on the exterior, it looks pretty decent. It's got rivets here. Yeah. Uh, really bar tacked, I think, sufficiently. But you just don't know until you test it. Over time, put in the hands of a troop or something, that's when it'll yeah, reveal. they might thrash on it pretty good. Abrasion straps here. Thousand denier Cordura nylon probably made in china i'm almost positive it is and this is uh, not polyurethane which is a higher quality nylon right. this is a pvc back so it's a vinyl back cordura that's why it comes in at a lower cost but like i said for most of you guys you won't care here's your mag pouches and what do you think pfi these things are huge you could fit 12 gauge sega mags or multiple mags in each one of these like we were saying, optics or something too would fit in there. Yeah. How about a bottle of Gatorade? Yeah, look at the size. We need of that. that. It is. Yeah. Dude, let's try it. I, I got a bottle of Gatorade yeah. and I'm going to get it. It's let's see what we got. He catches it unplanned, as pretty much everything is. Oh! oh. Freaking called it. Perfect. Bottle of Gatorade, dude. Those are monster <laughs> pouches. Look at that. So it holds a 32 ounce bottle of Gatorade. That's a win. Um, here's your center pouch. Has exterior molly on these parts right here. Uh, PFI, do, PFI due to myself. We never put crap out here. It no. just makes it harder to get on the vehicle, just in the vehicle. in and out of the vehicle. Makes yeah. it fatter. Maybe if this is your only pouch, you want to just carry everything here to a competition, you can do it. Uh, as you can see, morale pouches can be stuck on this Velcro portion. Love that patch. See the web store for them if you're interested. And then, boom, here's your shoulder strap. It's okay. I just keep it handy. I just store it in here. This is a really sweet pouch. I love this. It has a foam padded divider in it. So you can put magazines in here. You can put two pistols in here without scratching oh, yeah. them. That'd be a good idea too. So two pistols go right here. YKK zippers with zipper pulls, which apparently come off because I've already ripped two off. <laughs> <laughs> on other Explorer cases, but uh, you know, it's YKK zipper. They got the important part, right? Exactly. I was surprised to see YKK zippers. I on. am too. Yeah. Cause that's a U.S. made zipper and uh, they probably just got them and stitched them up wherever China or yeah. Shanghai. Uh, you can pull out some 550 cord, put them in. Uh, if you're a three gun guy, what do you think? PFI dude, could I you carry it. all three guns in here? If so, yeah. show them how. Oh, yeah. yeah, you could easy. Instruct them. You got your rifle here, shotgun on the backside. Pistols in the front. And check this. What? 
interior shooting padded mat. pouch. That's nice. And a shooting mat yeah. that's detachable. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So that is a lot of value for the money you're paying for this. So you can shoot on that. You could tuck another gun in here, you and that way it won't yep. be scratched, and so you could use it for three guns. It's true, you could have a backup in there as well. The guns here are the awesome first gen MMP 15 Sport with a 5R melanite barrel. Eat your heart out, discontinued. And man, does that shoot good. I just uh, threw a different optic on it, so I had to zero it. And this is a Stag, what is it, PFI? 3G. 3G! Lancer Mag. Good gun. scope. Good gun. So you got corner pockets here to stabilize the gun. Maybe tuck in the muzzle device so it won't scratch stuff. We never use the stabilizing straps ever, unless, nope. I don't know, we're bugging out in the hills, but I've never used them. I just throw the gun in there and zip it. <laughs> Me too. What do you think about the padding? I like it, that's thick, dense pad. Yeah, it's all closed cell foam, so it won't absorb water, and it is thick, it protects the guns yeah, really like nice. It. Really nice. Very nice. I'm um, looking at this, what's this for right here? That might be for your shooting mat. So you take this off. Oh yeah. And so you could do that. You'd yeah. attach your mat to you here. Lay on here. And now you have a full yeah. layout padded shooting cool area. Idea. I like that. And that would get back to the Molly because you would lay this flat and with that mat out, and this would be up where your weapon is. Mm -hmm. So you could actually have mags here where you're shooting. Right. Kind of this cool. one up, use it as a shooting bag or something. Kind of cool. I love the colors though. My favorite are the OD and the tan. Black is available too for the money you're paying. Shh. It's like free, dude. Yeah, that's Come awesome. to think, when I'm spending like 150 on an Eagle case. Yeah, that's true. I don't do that anymore. Yeah. Um, there you go. So quick infield review. This PFI dude, nothing fancy, with our Gatorade at the end of a shooting day. Watch the channel. You'll see our running gun video posting soon, right? Heck yeah, it was awesome. Good times. Good times. Beautiful day. All right, guys. Short vid. See ya!